Guys, you've come into a laboratory in Niwa, and this is Gordon, who studies carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. And of course, you heard this morning about greenhouse gases, carbon dioxide, blanketing the earth and warming things up. So Gordon, this is a really big topic, but um, what have you found out about our carbon dioxide? So o over the years, we've seen carbon dioxide go up in the atmosphere. So um, year on year, the carbon dioxide in the atmosphere is increasing because we're adding too much from burning fossil fuels and, and coal and, and uh, industry. And there's more going in than what the atmosphere can take, what the, the plants and, and ocean can take out. So we have an increase in the atmosphere. Right. Now how, so this is a place where you analyse what's in carbon dioxide. Um, how do you actually do that? Yeah, it's a good question. So we, we can measure at places like Bering Head, where we'll go tomorrow, that the concentration is increasing. But there's some things we can't do there. And, and those things are to understand what's caused the CO2 to, or carbon dioxide to increase in the atmosphere. And what we do here is we, we find a way to separate out the carbon dioxide from a sample of air that we'll collect, say at Bering Head, and we're going to take that air sample and we're going to separate out the CO2. And then there's, there's CO2 has come from different places. Yeah. So sometimes it's come from uh, burning um, fossil fuel. So someone's put petrol on their car and driven down the road. And out of the exhaust comes CO2. So sometimes it's come from there. Or it might have come from a fire where uh, a forest is burnt. And when the timber's burnt, the CO2 comes into the atmosphere. And then it also might come from um, a rubbish dump. And so there's material rotting away. Mm. So different, different sources, so different places that CO2 has come from will have a different signature, so a different fingerprint. And so what we do here is we, we look for the fingerprint of those different processes, those different source of coal or or um, a burning forest and we we can analyze for those and then understand how much each thing contributes to the total picture that we measure and so while a concentration might be going up that's like the black and white version of what's really happening and when we start looking at these fingerprints that gives us a color version of this piece is increasing because of fossil fuels, or this piece is increasing because of something else. Right, so that information must be really useful when we're thinking about what we can do um, in terms of solving the climate change issue. Exactly, when we, when we start to understand what's changing, then what's, what's happening now, what's changing, and what we can do in the future, that's the key to, to solving this problem. Hey, well, look, thanks for having us in your laboratory and letting us have a look around. It's been really cool to see some of this science in action. No problem. Yeah.